All right, yabba dabba do. Uh, let's take a look at some some more Catherine stuff. Um, haven't done that in a little bit. Uh, this is the grand finals between Sig and Shaz. Sig is on blue side, uh, and then Shaz is me on orange. So I'll lower the speed a little bit, and we'll just let it rock. Um, already, both players are approaching the opening differently. I think Sig. I think this is a variation that Jory likes to do, but main thing that you can see is that there are a lot of uh, pools. Uh, he's keeping all the blocks very close to him, which should um, give a decent chance to spawn some items. This uh, block is kind of important on both players' sides because it holds up the outermost section, and it lends itself very easily if you uh, remove these two blocks that you can remove your center column. Um, which prevents players from transitioning over, as well as lends itself to an easy stage break. So Sig here, it looks like, is keeping his tower structure nice and thick, but uh, not very wide, um, not very loose, as opposed to on the orange side, it looks like um, threatening here to drop this, but it can't quite tell yet if uh, typically when this gets pushed out, you know, as opposed to keeping it close in, like on blue side, when you push this out, you're hoping to um, make sure that the tower stays intact, but it will be a loosely connected structure. So let's just see how both of these follow up. So, yep, so you see blue does that first pull, and then let's see what he does on the next bit here. Orange keeping it. Again, doing this push out here, this is actually, I think, uh, now that I'm looking at this, I don't know what I was exactly thinking at the time, but I think I saw that what Sig was doing, and my idea was, oh, Sig's keeping his nice and tight, so I'm going to try to keep mine uh, nice and wide. So here, actually, this is inspired by a lot of maneuvers that you see in Babel, this push and push. Um, and when this goes out, hopefully it'll catch this block, at least that's what Orange is thinking. But the idea is that, oh, I'm going to put something in this middle column, because after Blue does this, um, the middle is looking very fragile. So let's see if Orange can catch that in time. He does, so he catches this, which really messes up Blue's collapse and gives Blue this kind of weird landing structure. So Orange is looking really good right now. That was a useless push by Orange, but um, I don't think I saw that, oh, it was connected further back, hoping that it was going to knock this and, and leave just a one, uh, one landing. Sig, this is actually a clever move because, you know, you have kind of two options really is you either approach and find a way to cross over or you try to keep climbing. And Sig noticed that his structure was not very conducive to climbing. Um, on the left side, it, it looks deceptive. This two landing looks kind of nice to get to, but to get to it, you actually have to mess with this a little bit and, and either drop it by pushing and pulling or if you push out and then pull that back. Um, if you were to push this out, let this fall, and then pull it back, that works to keep it intact, but again, then you're making it fall. And then on the right side, the higher up side, um, I mean, what he could have done was instead of push this over, he could have pulled, or um, he could have pushed that middle block and waited for this to fall. But again, both of those options really make it seem like you're waiting for something to fall, which is just going to cost some time and give Orange more initiative. So I really like this from Blue. Has a little bit of lead. He pushes, and he's going to use this side all over. Uh, and then this block is fairly strong, and he's safe to do that so long as he keeps buffering his movements. This this pit looks like it would be very deadly, but it's actually not. Um, if you get sent down there, though, if you were to get knocked down, that would be pretty bad. Um, I'm not quite sure what the solution would be offhand, but uh, it's not super great. So I would expect Blue, you know, to to try to get over here now. Orange. As he's coming up, one thing that he can do is that he can pull this, right, which eliminates that blue will only be able to get on top of those and um, removes this third side from the equation and also makes it kind of inconvenient for blue. Blue can then drop, but then orange has this nice block and, you know, looking out over these two squares. So it's a fairly defensible position. Uh, orange also has this create a block, so orange is looking pretty good right now, but I really like this idea from Blue. 
Uh, I think maybe just crossing over and then getting on top of this block and just waiting for orange and just doing a simple dive kick kind of setup is um, simple, but I think it's very effective here. So we'll see what blue does. Orange, I disagree. I, if I was playing today, I don't think I would do that push. Uh, I see that push. What um, The idea here is that, oh, this structure is kind of held up. So orange was kind of setting up for a um, a push out. You know, I think one thing that I like to do in, in Catherine lies, I'm, I'm constantly moving. Sometimes the moves I make are suboptimal, but uh, I try to always be changing up the board state and, and just mixing the, mixing things up and keeping the options open. And so here, this push is, is preparation in the future in case blue were to get ahead. That is one less block that uh, orange would have to push because my side is also looking very fragile. And that is one thing that in Climb Cancel 2021 I was doing a lot was um, late stage breaks because typically you see stage breaks either at the beginning or not at all really unless it's clock tower. So anyway, I definitely agree with that pool. Seeing that blue is disinterested, then the push back, then blue opts to climb here. Now this is, you know, you kind of get this weird shape from blue. It's not super good to climb. Orange does this. I think that this was a misguided move uh, on my part. I think that when you have a, a situation where you both are on the same level and blue can easily cross over, when orange does something like this, this is setting up this landing for blue to take. So this was, I think, a misplay. But alternatively, the way that you could see this would be a bait of sorts uh, is because this two landing does look enticing. But notice that all orange needs to do is actually push this and uh, this structure collapses. Uh, and this kind of goes you know, hand in hand with that earlier move of pushing this out, that subtle action uh, makes this side less stable. So even if blue were to cross over, it is going to be relatively easy still for orange to mess with it, as opposed to uh, if, you know, there was a block still here, uh, even if orange were to push this, this two landing stays intact. So um, this actually isn't too bad, even though I suspect that blue is going to cross over and take that. No, blue is again disinterested. So I think that was a little bit of a missed opportunity, um, especially because a, a drop kick on to here would be not fatal for orange because he has a block, right? Orange falls to here. He turns to the left and throws it. And I think that should be, you know, a block right here, which could spider around and isn't too bad at all. Um, but I am surprised that Blue went to dis to not engage. Um, I'm not sure. I think actually a pretty oh, what's a I don't know why. <laughs> All right, YouTube. Um, somehow I was still logged into there. Um, let's see. I actually think that blue shape here. Uh, something that would be kind of interesting would be maybe come over here, push this block out, and then push this in. I think that might be interesting because that actually causes this shape to collapse just quite nicely. And then you can drop down and pull this, which you know gets rid of the bridge so that orange can't cross over at all. Um, so that, was, that seems like a pretty efficient collapse, I think. Um, Alternatively, another thing that you could do would be drop down and push this and then push this. Um, that works, but that doesn't give you a block to pull very easily. You would need to um, you would need to pull this block, which isn't bad, but um, I don't know. So he does a pull. Pull or push there would be about the same thing. He does a push there. So now both players are uh, looking about the same. Uh, Orange got the lucky kind of side there. So blue side is very weak. Very good on blue to recognize that, oh, yeah, this is fragile. I can do this push. And that's going to really mess with orange because what orange wanted to do was just push this into here and cross over. Kind of do that spiral corridor, left, right, left, right maneuver. Uh, but when you do this, orange isn't going to be able to push this. So now, oh, he ac I actually was, huh? I'm surprised. Normally, if the block is shaking, you can't act on it. So, um this left side is looking a little bit fragile. Um, blue gets this X, which that's going to be pretty oh, pretty nice to keep blue in the game. Uh, it doesn't look like there is too much connected here. Orange is going to opt to. So, you know, orange 
could have tried to play defense on this square, but I think fairly confident in, oh, there's nothing that he can really do, so I'll do a pool and it'll be okay. The thing that you do have to be careful of there, you know, you can do a kind of butt bump, uh, especially if you're pooling this and get that early. If you're just waiting for a dive kick, that won't be able to work, but a pool will to get a early butt bump and so what I mean by that is that if blue were here and trying to climb here if orange were to double pull this right pull it once and then pull it again um, from its initial position so from here it's only one more pull uh, orange will actually hit blue while he is climbing up and he'll hit him as if blue were down here so blue will end up on this block instead uh, and that you can only do that if you're pulling. If there were no block there and Orange was waiting to get a dive kick here, Blue would be able to get the climb up and buffer in a push, which would be pretty bad for Orange and could lead to a pretty complicated situation of push. Orange drops. If Blue is too, if Blue gets the timing right, if Blue's too fast, then Blue comes down and they actually end up spidering. But um, if Blue gets the timing right after Orange drops to here. Uh, then blue can get a drop kick, which would not be the worst thing in the world for orange because now they're fighting on this kind of structure, which just is not super great for blue, and probably by that point his X factor would run out. So I think that blue does the right thing by climbing this way. This kind of pattern is, is always is pretty good. Um, you know, he's going to get the climb here, he's going to get the climb one here, and possibly the climb one to here. I'm curious if Orange will try to play defense here, or if Orange will be content to maybe get up here, turn around, and throw the block into this square, or if Orange would try to get here, throw the block into this square. Actually, Orange could throw the block into here, or here. Either would be fine, I think. Uh, would be kind of interesting, and then get on top and go and try to pull this. I don't know if Orange would have enough time from here to do that, but I think that's very clear the path that Blue has to take, and so I, I would actually hope that, um, looking at this now, that I would try to interfere with that. So let's see what he does. I uh, waited a second, which that's not going to be any good, and tries to play the more uh, passive option. This actually, oh wow, he got kind of lucky because um, uh, if... You know, if this wasn't a three high, blue would have been able to continue. But because it's not, blue does a good recognition. Says, "Hey, I have to cross over." Um, maybe blue doesn't see that. Okay. He opts for this, which is that's not bad. Um, and a little bit of misreads by orange. A lot of mine just misreads this this game, I think. But this structure is going to be really nice because you can maneuver this block all the way to the outside and cause this uh, this thing to fall and actually go one two and climb on top of the fallen pattern. So um, that's going to be very convenient. And blue has this very kind of ugly shape down here, especially with this when he's underneath of that. Uh, that's not super great. Um, I'm trying to think if there is if there is a better move here. Uh, oh, I think maybe what could work, because if you play, like the intuitive thing is, okay, let me try to push this stuff out, right? You push right, or you push left, and then you go, and... Um, well, I guess, I guess just pushing left isn't too bad, because then this falls... If you were to, let's just you know do all that. So you push, this block ends up here, right? This block becomes free, and then these two are hanging. Blue can stand here and wait for these two to fall. And then when they fall, uh, that will actually give you the bridge over to the right side. But um, maybe supposing the situation was a little bit uglier for whatever reason, maybe another cute solution would be actually to pull this block, right? If you were to pull this, then the only thing keeping this hanging is um, this block on the outside. And so you can do a similar thing as what's going to be done over here, uh, because, again, it is actually just the same, same shape. Um, what you can do is you can pull this block so that it's hanging out here. This block becomes free. You spider around. You push this to the right, and then you go and you stand here. And when this two landing falls, then you can get on top of that. So that might not be too bad. And actually here, too, you can actually see, uh, you know, you can look at the feathers, but also the dark block here means that this is the side that the goal is going to spawn on. So um, blue actually wants to stay on this 
left side. So I think that the best way to handle this would be to do that um, complicated maneuver of a pull and then a round push and then climb up. Uh, that gives you a fairly nice structure, especially pulling this allows this column to fall, which is a support structure. So you can do another push and then up and then maybe a pull and then a pull or just a push and a push and you'll be in a, a very good situation. Um, so let's see. Yeah, Orange here is obsessed with height. But yeah, you see that blue when he does this pull here, it doesn't doesn't really give much room and then both of us then recognize that oh we have to go to the left side um, which you know all this height it's even higher than the goal block but that's not going to be very helpful uh, here it's a shame that Sig went this far I think that Sig didn't need to do this especially with Sig having a block I think that this was Sig's game of stand here turn and throw a block into here uh, would prevent Orange from climbing up and would have been the win so I actually think that Orange had a lot of misplays this game, and I think it was Sig's. Although I think that it really became obviously Sig's towards the end. This was another misplay by Orange uh, right away. I mean, what you can... Well, I guess it's not entirely a misplay, but uh, when this block was still here, it uh, should be to pull this, and then Orange is standing on here, uh, and there's no way for Blue to do anything. Uh, Blue can spider around to the inside and do a push. Uh, that does give, I guess, I guess it does give Blue a lot of control over the um, the structure because uh, when this block is pulled and becomes hanging out here, um, and Orange gets, you know, Orange waits for eventually Blue to come and mess around on the inside. Then Orange climbs up. Then Blue does a push, and that push it will be pretty pretty rough because that gets rid of this whole column, which makes that look a lot rougher, and then. Um, that will also, oh wait, uh, actually, no, just kidding, that wouldn't be that bad, uh, because uh, this block here, you know, is keeping things up, so um, if this block were to get pulled and just wait for blue to maybe go around to the inside, uh, then orange can climb up. If orange were to push, uh, because this block is now hanging out here, uh, and it is caught onto here, which is a block that Blue wouldn't be able to interact with because it's hanging out there. These actually hang on top of that. Um, so that's not too bad. Um, Blue does have a block, so there would be potential to do some stuff there, maybe. Um, uh, especially, I guess, really, one thing that could happen would be orange pool right and it's chilling out here blue comes to the inside steps to the left and then maybe turns around and throws the block right because then you have this kind of weird shape like this uh where this block isn't here anymore um uh but blue won't be able to climb on top of that because this guy is blocking his head in so I guess that still leaves you with the option of, okay, blue can push this block out and make this guy collapse. Then he can push this to the left, and then he can push this to the right. And that would eventually cause uh, stuff here to collapse. And when you have the immovable block suspended on uh, the two white blocks, uh, that becomes a little bit of a tricky um, solve. So I think that would be Blue's best option. And the way that this interaction should probably play out is is quite simply, instead of this push here, would be a pull on here. It's kind of a similar um, thing to Quadrangle's opening. So anyway, we are a minute in, and I have about 19 minutes worth of talking points here. Uh, we'll speed things along. Yeah, that was a misplay. Um, this is what Blue should have done before, what Orange did there. Just moving along. Uh, both players doing a slightly different opening. You see Orange here does not opt to, to catch it, and so we'll see how differently this plays out now that Blue is setting up to collapse this thing. And what is Orange going to do to, to try to stop that? Or, or am I going to try to stop that? I don't remember. Uh, it looks like Orange here is just favoring uh, height, trying to keep the pressure on Blue to, to push things. Um, but Blue definitely has enough time. I mean, you could see that part there was super strong. 
Uh, and this thing is quickly coming apart. So we'll see what orange can do. It, there's a little bit of thickness here, which is going to mess with blue. Uh, and what is also a shame is that um, it is caught on the back somewhere down here, I suspect. So this thing actually becomes much more annoying for blue to completely push out. <laughs> Orange got all turned around here. Now blue actually got enough items to put himself back into the game, but because now that the stage is is over top of this this block in the back, uh, it is still still kind of uh, weak. You know, this side is just held up by this block, this block and this block, I guess. Um, but there's th this this situation is very fragile. So I'm curious uh, if Orange. I wouldn't be surprised if I transition to a push here. I ran away. I expected blue to do a push. I, I have a lot of instances in this game, uh, in, in this tournament, actually, where um, I reacted more on reads rather than just reacting to what the player did. So some moves are a bit strange. Here I was actually expecting this. I wanted to do a three-dimensional. I think my timing was a little bit off. I wanted to do the uh, Anakin. Um, you know, when both players are on a block, just the three-dimensional, usually the player who goes down first is able to go down and get the push, and I was going to put him in the sketchy state, actually, on the back of the stage, but um, I just messed that up, so I was unfortunate. Here, quick, you know, quick wit. Eh, whenever you're in doubt, Catherine, you should always be pushing something, especially if you're behind. If you're behind, just, just push some buttons, man. Um, and here, yep, I'm going to try to make the tower as... I missed a block here, which is unfortunate because that caught that. Otherwise, this would really set up to be uh, pushed out pretty easily. Here, we're going to ride some blocks for a little bit. Here, this is where I said, all right, I think or I think blue is kind of in the in the groove there. So I'm going to go down and, and try to read and get the push, which did work out for a nice um, nice transition there. So that just is a nice... Uh, example of playing on player habits, but I definitely think that blue had that game won. Torture chamber, so spikes, okay. Let's see what happens. Sig here, a little bit behind, you can kind of see, especially in slow motion, you see orange is just a couple frames ahead. Here, this was kind of interesting. So so in, in my, oops, uh, in my mind, I actually, whenever it gets to this three high thing, I find it just super boring to play on here because typically, you know, if both players go up, um, it's just this kind of weird pillow fight. This structure is so high that neither player wants to pull. It's kind of similar to a quadrangle effect. Um, and so since neither player wants to pull and that there's not really any strong dive kick potential besides if you get it straight down the middle, which if you don't push this uh, structure enough, it doesn't really get there. So um, typically when I see this three high and I see that the other player is climbing, I will opt to try to get the um, initiative and actually just play lower. My idea being that, okay, dropping, now I'm two levels below, gives me a, a decent chance to spawn some kind of item, uh, which would be nice to have. And if they continue to climb, my odds only increase, which is even greater. Um, as well as it starts to give me the ability to push out the stage. So I think that sometimes just dropping early is is a solid move. Um, so here, okay, blue just opts to, to body block me out. So I say, okay, you know what, I'm going to start just making it flimsy. Uh, attacking this left side of the stage just a little bit. Yeah, there we go, there we go. That's not bad because, you know, you can see this, this does look somewhat flimsy. Um, so we'll see. But now I'm very far below, so my X chances are going to be pretty high. If I were blue here, I would be torn um, because a part of me would want to play defense, but it becomes a little bit tricky because orange has several ways up, right? Orange can climb and then push this and then go up on this outside, uh, which would also weaken the structure. Orange can then also go pull this and then can climb up this side. Um, 
Oh, orange could also pull this and then maybe climb up this block, although I probably wouldn't want to because it's very easy for blue to set up a butt bump if they, you know, they deactivate this spike, step off, and then do a pull here. That'll get me if this were pulled while I'm trying to climb onto that block that blue's currently standing on. Um, so it's a little bit tricky. I think this is not a bad position to defend for blue, though. I think I, if I were blue, I would probably, ah, uh, this is, this is a little bit tough. Um, if I were blue, I think I would try to go to the right side, because I think that trying to defend both left and right is not going to be very possible right now. Um, so we'll see. So he opts for this. But then you see that orange, this is what I was saying, is that orange is two ways up, and trying to defend both is just not going to work out. Um, there's just not quite enough time for this to work. So, Oh, look at that beautiful climb cancel from orange. <laughs> nah, I was just trying to get a drop kick or something, you know. This is, this is where both players are relatively even. Uh, going to do a push. This simulates what the opening looked like again. Uh, here, I mean, blue decides to play some defense here, which is smart. This was a really bad misplay from orange to try to throw the block there, of course, because, you know, what's coming next is that. Um, so, bad misplay from orange, but really cool. I think that blue just tried to overextend on the defense. I think that he should have tried to block the, when confronted with the choices, he should have tried to block the side that was easier for Orange to break away with. The left side, it would have required Orange to push, uh, to pull some more blocks in order to actually make it work. And since it would have required some more pulls, um, that would have uh, been slower for Orange to break away. Again, opt in for some items. Nothing too exciting happening in the match right now. We got an X, so now Orange is back into the game. Here I'm, I would expect, yep, Blue just to do that. But as Orange, you have to do that because uh, you have to sometimes force Blue to, to interact. Uh, kind of an empty, weird push, but okay. You know, uh, Here I'm, I'm surprised Sig didn't set up to kind of defend this. Oh, that's what he's doing. Yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah, this, this will get kind of interesting because... Orange has several ways up with X right now, and blue has a fairly high um, structure to climb, so you're not going to see either player really make huge advancements for a little bit here. Blue opts to just throw that at orange, which is, uh, I don't think that was a very good call. Um, I don't think that was a, this, well, I don't know. I'm torn because the thing that blue is going for out here is going to be a pull and then a push, then up here and then a push and wait for this to fall. But the issue with climbing on the outside is that it's fairly, it's relatively easy to block. Uh, and so, you know, as orange, what orange can do is, is if they just pull this one block, then that makes it a little bit more difficult for blue. Now, it's not totally that bad in this instance because since this block will be here, uh, blue can... Um, think blue would be yeah blue would be able to push this now and then this is still caught I think on this side uh, but if they if they pulled this this actually might not still be connected it's a little bit tough to read out um, but yeah I just I just worry about trying to opt for climbing on the outside because it's it's usually easy to block I think that alternatively what might have worked would be trying to make something where they can cross over and maybe take advantage of what orange is using to climb especially because uh, if this plat if this got a little bit more room you know if you push and you pull things around there's say there was a scrimmage down here right uh, and you get to a point where you're able to push this, I mean, you do have your way already up on the outside. So I just think that trying to cross right instead of left here, uh, I don't think that there's enough time for blue to do this, what they're trying to do. Okay. That actually worked out super good. I didn't even see that. Uh, but that was a super nice push. Um, this was an interesting call. Um, 
because as orange, you know, if you just pull this outside in, you get the solve. But orange actually opting to throw that away to make this much more complicated, uh, which blue, I mean, blue just had brilliant plays that last, the, those, that last 30 seconds or so that was, um, that was very well played. Uh, and, you know, maybe to recap just a little bit is that orange is not I, I like orange's idea I stick by the idea of opting to pull I think instead of pulling this I would push it the pool here is in my head I think uh, setting up for this to fall and then that makes this square safe for a actually maybe not um, <laughs> It sets up for a possible Y reversal, but because this spike block hasn't been activated, I'm not sure who would die. Uh, but, you know, just because both of these are sitting here, but then this would be in the background. So it sets up for a nice Y reversal, uh, as well as it gets rid of the easy opening. I think that one thing that uh, I'm very aware of and afraid of is blue has a block here, which means that, you know, the ending to torture is not terribly difficult, um, but with a with an item block that would make it you know super trivial so the fact that this side is already kind of rough for blue uh, to climb I, th I think that maybe a push just to drop this and make it where it's it's not easy to solve would have been fine as well uh, but I think this was a good idea but I mean this push to then uh, this spider around and, and do a push there that's very strong I think it's very ballsy though too because after this push it becomes a little bit a little bit scary for blue because the top has already kind of been mangled uh, there's not too much that orange can do I guess orange you know after this gets pushed can kind of initiate this long pull sequence to get up to the top uh, but by that time you know after or after blue does this one push blue can then drop down over to here and possibly get another shot definitely can then do a push here and really mess with with orange so it actually is um, very very tough um, one thing that orange might have been able to do instead of throwing the solve away would be trying to gatekeep it a little bit better so maybe instead of um, what happened here would be to instead of pulling this or interacting with this and making that fall at all because I don't think that orange has, I think that the simple solve is with this still pushed in, step on, step off, step back, and pull. But I don't think that orange has enough time to do that without getting uh, pillow hit by blue. Um, if he does, then that's great, but I don't think so. So I think then the alternative, instead of trying to pull this, would be to stand on top and uh, just try to gatekeep this square. I think that is um, Orange's best bet, as well as since the players are so close and that you've kind of got, you know, like three different levels here of height, uh, it would be possible if Blue were to use their item for Orange to maybe get a walk on Sunshine. So while this move I think is actually very tempting, I think maybe the more um, simple solution would be to defend this square. Uh, especially because standing here, there's not going to be a way for Blue to uh, interact with you. So I think here would have just been an option of uh, just playing defense. And that no action is the best action. Man, I would have expected us to keep it moving. A 17 minute grand finals for Catherine. Oh, I, I see. This was uh, the mouse was still on the screen 
And so we were trying to figure out how to get rid of it, so I just eventually unplugged it. This really was not a long grand finals. I mean, that, there was that interruption there, and then I think there's like four minutes of uh, talking at the end or so. So it's actually a super short grand finals. Uh, spiral corridor for the next one, okay. We're actually playing the match, so um, yeah, just momentarily. Here, this this position is about equal. You know, blue is going to get a little bit control over this. So orange ops. To, <laughs> this was again an instance where I was I was doing reads, right? I had in my head I was like, okay, blue is going to get up here. They're going to push, and that's why I I had sidled over to here is because if they would have pushed, I think I would have had enough time. Uh, I I had assumed that they were going to do two pushes or no, just one push, and that this block, you know, then would be one over, and that I would be able to climb up, but they didn't do that, so that forced me to come back, which I think will then force this push. No? Yeah, you see, I'm just waiting for the push. Yeah, I just was waiting for this. That juice looks tempting, but it's it's bait. Don't fall for it. Pushing on the outside. This will be simple for orange to climb. Um blue ops to do a push there to throw his block there so you know there were really two options here um, you either throw the block in here or you turn around and throw it in this square um, the downside to this square is that it was closer to orange and that I could have probably reacted to this and got like a drop kick and that would have been really bad for blue and so opting to throw it definitely away from me is um, is safer I think that he might have been able to get away with throwing it this way and keeping it close and just kind of nipping at my heels. Um, throwing it away is is interesting because, uh, you know, on the table is this dark block which he might be able to get. As orange, something that could happen is that I could spider over and snag it first. Um, but opting for this side is giving him the item advantage later. So I'm curious to see if that actually will pan out. If I even go for it. No, okay, so orange opts to maintain the climbing lead. But here, this next pattern I can already see is going to look a little bit rough for orange. There's no easy way to climb, so now orange has to go back and play defense. Um, the actual solution, I think, if you want to be able to solve this, no, I don't think that there is anything which works out conveniently. Um, I was going to say something where you pull this and then you climb on top of it and then you're able to spider around and then you pull this, but that doesn't that doesn't work because then you know you spider back around and there's nothing for you to get that extra height. Um, so this is actually you know a dead pattern for orange. So orange has to play defense um, and blue has a block. Oh. <laughs> this. This game is messed up. It gave Orange the block, which is going to make this end solve trivial. Because Orange can keep this shape up. Blue tries to do this kind of push out on the outside, but there's nothing that can be done there. That's unfortunate that Orange got that item. It's unfortunate for Blue, but it's super fortunate for Orange because that probably won the set or won the game. Both players up for the inside, but then synchronized on the outside. We're going to do the little song and dance here to do this. Orange kind of sets up here. I'm setting up to do this kind of whoops, this kind of push, this nice push out. You see, it's it's kind of happening. There, I'm surprised that didn't come out. Uh, possible pin pin situation here. You see, Orange is just staying super active in this, which is causing a lot of problems for Blue, and always advancing the position somewhat. Oh. I'm surprised that blue didn't try to get some kind of push or pull there. That's unfortunate. I don't I don't super like orange's play there. Let me take it back a little bit. Yeah, I don't I don't I mean, this part's okay, especially because orange has uh the potential to to climb up on this outer staircase. That being there is kind of nice for orange. Blue has a block though, so he's able to connect up higher and and that would be fine. I think if I'm blue, I would probably I think I would try to just play the, the tower structure. I think I would try to find an opportunity to toss a block. Probably here where blue is standing right now. Probably stand here and toss a block into here. Um, because that connects onto this block. It makes this too high wall that orange won't be able to interact with him anymore. 
Uh, I guess Orange can kind of do this push and then come around down here and do a push and a push, but that's a little bit complicated, and they're running out of time, you know. So I think that Blue running down the clock and then just tossing an item and then opting to climb up, uh, especially because that then gives this structure two anchor points, right? It gives it over here as well as um, that block, as well as I guess there's this block here. So I actually really like Blue's position here instead of trying to play for a fight. Uh, alternatively, you know, Blue could have also tossed the block into this square, although I don't like that as much because that gives Orange the potential to come up and still interact with him. Uh, if you're Orange, though, I think that Orange probably is, is playing it mostly right. Um, <coughs> I think maybe just pushing, I think a push here, and then I think that there is a block below here. I think that coming here and then pushing this to the left and climbing up here would have been a, a fine choice as well. Uh, and if I were playing that like right now, that's probably what I would do. Um, but I don't know. Um, looks a little bit tight. Yeah, Orange goes for that drop kick, which really shouldn't have got. As soon as as soon as Blue stood here, this isn't good because in in a truly optimal world, right? There's just riding on blocks left and right until Blue runs out of time. Um, so that's not good. Um. When the stage is running out, you usually, I guess, do not want to put yourself on a level below your opponent. So I think that blue using that item to, to block it off would have been um, a very, very good move. And from orange, I think orange played that fine. Here, okay, blue opts to lower this at the start. Oops, didn't mean to get out full screen. Got some bad luck on there, so the pattern didn't fall quite right. But this isn't going to be too bad for Blue, because now Blue can spawn items. Blue chooses not to stay super low. Uh, here, Orange is going to be... I'm, I'm super content to set up my defense. You see, my first initiative was... I, I, I got to pat myself on the back, I think, a little bit. Um, was definitely, when he uses that, to block this outside with this block. Right now, this simplifies what I have to worry about. I only have to worry about blue uh, climbing up this way, and then having that two row to block that. That's just super strong. Uh, at this point, you know, when you're playing this kind of defense, what you're trying to do is you're just keeping an eye. Where is blue going? Where is blue going? And what can I do to stop him? Um, so I think, you know, if you're blue. You have a couple different options. I think one of the ones that I kind of like, just looking at this right now, would be a push here and a push here, because these are holding up this block. And that would make that collapse, which would make Orange uh, have to choose a side. And then, depending on what Orange chooses, that makes it easier for Blue's decision making. The other thing that might work at this point is a pull here and then climb. Now, this might not be too great because uh, I think that wouldn't be too bad because that allows blue to possibly come up um, that might not be a super great idea because orange orange can't push uh, orange can't push because if they push and wait for them to fall and then get the pillow hit this will actually collapse because this is uh, connected onto there um, means that orange cannot do a push wait pillow hit that'll kill him so I guess the uh, alternative that orange would have would be to pull and he could pull twice, and then he would be on top of this block, maybe. Or, depending on the timing, Blue might be trying to climb it, but if Blue were trying to climb it, then Orange could probably pull it and make Blue fall again, so waste more time. Uh, and the positions probably would end up about even. Um, so that just is an interesting scenario. But I think as Blue, if I were in this position, I think I would like to stay low. Um, being low isn't bad right now because it gives you a chance for another X factor, and it also gives you control over the possibility to push out the middle of the stage. So let's see what he does. He, he does this. Now here, because he did that, now this block is liable to be pushed out as well if he just pushes this. He doesn't do that though, and instead he opts to kind of keep it low. So I'm just going to opt to, I see he gets the item, so I say it's not really worth it, uh, and I just, create some structure up here, which this works out. I mean, you could see I just pull out that whole row, and then I say, ah, you know what, I'm just going to move up again. Uh, monster blocks are doing a lot of work for me right now, 
Um, so this is kind of normal Imperio play. Now another X for blue, so now I'll have to just kind of stick close. So I'm just going to stick a couple levels above and play it out here. Saw that the item got overridden, so it's no longer a problem. Here, orange is going to opt to use it. Now this is a deceptive. This block, this immovable block on the top center, is so hard to deal with. It looks like it should be great, but then when the player head pulls this. Um, that makes this so much more difficult for blue to do anything with because the amount of blocks that you have to interact with on this are only two next to it. Uh, whenever you throw an immovable block in the center, in the exact center of Imperio, uh, at the highest level here, uh, that is such a pain because say that blue climbs up and that they pull this, Okay, and then they pull this. Well, now they have a too high wall on this outside, and they can't pull it any further. So because it, you know, this is a three high thing, but you don't have enough room on the outside to make a landing with it, it becomes very tough to deal with. I think just looking at this, maybe the actual solution might be to try to push this block under it because if you push this block under it uh, this falls it's only hanging on the one thing after you pull this I, I would say after you pull this it's just hanging on the one and that's actually super simple to deal with but trying to create a landing with this top one is so deceptive looking so let's see how blue tries to handle this or of course right there's also the you could just get an item <laughs> and if you get the item it works but is very tough to deal with. Orange is just going to play some defense here. I'm surprised that Orange didn't push this over to the right, but that's that's fine. This looks tough. Yeah, and that's just blue's way up. I think that orange. Um. Yeah, that's good. Good collapsing from blue. All right, so we're back. Uh, we're seeing this early fight. You know, fortunately, you had. Uh, let's see, I had to step away for a moment. Um, so this monster block came out right. So anywhere that you get drop kicked, whether it's on the outside or on the inside, you're gonna land on something and be okay. One thing that I would like to see maybe players do is I think that there's a possible checkmate here, similar to um, quadrangle. Uh, well, maybe not in this particular instance, but in general is if you get a drop kick in the middle, follow up by just dropping, they will uh, be forced a spider onto there. Um, if this block were not here, that would, uh, you know, prevent them from coming out. If, you know, this structure was the same as this structure, where this wasn't here, um, that would be a checkmate. Um, anyway, oops. Let's see what happens. Got the pillow hit from Sig. So here, I mean, this is, I think if I was blue and I saw orange really take this long way around, I might have just thrown the item when I had enough time to. Doing this kind of pillow fight here, I mean, it's not really going to get you much. This is uh, interesting. If I was blue, I would probably try to pull this middle and just play spider defense over here. Let's see what blue does. Blue is just standing there instead which is going to cause an issue here. Um, Orange learned from his last mistake of uh, not tossing the block and not getting walked on sunshine. This is checkmate. Good Orange to recognize that. Let's see what happens in the end game. 
both pull the middle, and so it looks like it's going to be symmetrical, and this should go to blue. Yeah, blue will win that interaction. Um, here, possible, okay, orange recognizes, okay, blue's setting up defense, so he starts to attack the shape, which is good. Uh, here, orange, uh, orange really should have climbed up. Instead, he's creating the structure down here, which isn't too bad. I uh, actually, you know, my first intuition was a moment ago just to climb up and play on the same level. But playing on the same level, you're going to get a drop kick, but not really get too much. I actually think that probably the optimal way to play this is strategically behind. And what I mean by that is far enough behind to where um, you can farm X. So I think that actually staying down here and just doing some pulls and some pushes to try to farm is actually a strong move. Uh, so we'll see if blue just keeps deciding to climb. Good X. So let's see what I can do with it. Get that push. And then this should be a follow-up to a climb there. Should be a pull. Yep, yep. D blocked by monster blocks. That was that was rough. Um, yeah, this should just be once orange gets ahead here, you know, opportunity to break away. Um, this is kind of a little bit tough. This was this was the wrong move. Um, this push isn't bad. Um. But getting on the right side of it is bad. You know, the actual um, the solution being after this falls is a pull and then a push and then a push, which gives you, you know, you get this. Um, here, let me clean up the screen a little bit. You get, you know, you, you get this nice two and two uh, structure. That's what you want. When you do this, you know, it creates something very messy. The old, uh, another thing that you could do is when this falls, maybe you, uh, let's leave this like this and just leave this here. Um, set up to maybe pull this, right? You can push this on the outside and then pull this. So your end result would look like a uh, block, block, and then a block on the outside. That wouldn't be too bad. Uh, it might get a little bit tricky because this block is the vulnerable one. If blue is able to get up in time and do a push, that uh, makes that pretty impossible to climb um, so we'll see I mean blue though is very trapped down here um, so we'll see what happens but definitely staying on the right side of this it doesn't give you anything especially because this monster block went on the inside um, something that you could do is push this monster block on the outside right so he looks <laughs> pardon my three-dimensional stuff. You have to step to deactivate the trap block and then pull and then pull again and then pull. So you create the same shape that would have worked here, but instead you create it on this side. But you had to do some extra work because this monster block on the top has uh, gone that way. Um, so let's see. How does this work out? Yeah, blue. Then blue gets this item, which works out very nice for them. You see it orange does this, and that, that doesn't work. Going to be able to play some defense, which isn't bad. Here, blue misses this. This should have been a pull, uh, and really, blue is actually in the advantageous position. I think. Well, actually, I guess it's about even. Uh, this monster block here prevents blue from climbing up anyway. Uh, blue really has, you know, two main ways to advance: is going to be here and going to be here. Uh, possibly could push this and then climb here, but as the board state is, right, they either pull or they push this if they get up. Uh, and I think that what just, you know, works the best is pull this and force orange to sit on the outside. And then when orange is sitting on the outside, then blue can interact on the right side. Um, again, when you get the X, it's all about making the options for you. So orange is going to play just, just some solid defense here. Uh, good from blue to, to make that drop. But it's not going to be enough. Orange is going to be able to watch both of these, but can get pulled. And you see now what this situation looks like. Orange is going to be able to pull this. If you're blue, actually, um, I am pretty sure if blue would have just pushed this to the right and then just gate kept this block, that should be game. This block keeps orange pinned down so that if you just 
push and you pull this. Actually, <laughs> I guess really all blue needs to do is every time that orange pushes this, just pull it because there's nowhere that orange can go. Uh, orange can drop here, but then gets drop kicked from blue. I guess that there is some crazy stuff that can actually happen on this bottom floor is where, okay, say that they push and they pull and that orange gives up and he decides, okay, I'm going to spider around to here. Uh, blue gets a drop kick and goes for a follow-up. If blue goes for a follow-up, what orange can do is orange can um, cancel their, can put themselves into altered state to dodge the drop kick and end up here. And when they end up there, blue comes down, orange turns around, gets the pillow hit, and then orange can come and can pull this, and we'll stand on this structure and we'll win. Uh, so that's one possibility. The other possibility is that blue doesn't uh, go for that, and that blue can actually just stand right there. Um, if orange comes around, blue stays on this block and, and wins. So blue should blue should win this, I think. Doing this, this is not the move. Uh, the timing isn't quite right. You know, it's not it's not a bad idea. Well, I don't even know if it's really not a bad idea either. It doesn't. This doesn't really give you much of anything. It's going to make this more complicated, I think. Um, but you know, when you push this out, you're going to get this this triangle here, and you're just giving it to the other player. So this was really really a bad thing. I think that maybe a push. And then giving yourself room to pull this might have been fine too. A pull on this actually would just straight up be game. So there were two possible situations for blue to win that. But this was this is throwing the game away um, because now orange can orange can set up here. And now orange kind of does a similar situation that uh, blue was just in, where orange is going to uh, use the structure and the immovable blocks to keep blue pinned down. Um, not literally, but with the blocks. So anything that blue does here, blue pulls, orange pulls. Blue pulls, like, and then this is just going to be game. Just gets the timing right, and that's it. But that, that is, uh, those are two sets that, well, maybe not sets, two games where I think Sig had a, two rounds, I should say, Two rounds where Sig definitely, I think, had a win and tossed it up. So, very solid play. Um, I think he just missed a little bit, but really gave me a run for my money there. I think that I had a couple different times where I had misplays. Um, certainly a lot of suboptimal play, but let me go back. You know, I've already spent an hour here, so what's another little bit? Um... What is the solution here? You know, if you're orange, ah, I already talked about this. That this solve was just just a really bad idea. But even here, I mean, this is crazy because when it gets to, uh, I'll let it go for a little bit longer. When it gets to a position where, the, like, this is this is crazy. At what point I'm trying to look? Does it make it where blue should win this? And I think that point. Is uh, is here? Well, maybe not entirely, but pretty much because while blue has the X and then can come up and then can pull this, um, ah, th it, it comes down to a fifty-fifty on whether or not blue pulls this as they're coming up, or orange doesn't. Maybe what the proper answer from orange is. It's just because there it's it's there there are three options that blue gets is what makes it so difficult to read. Um, is that blue can come up and they can buffer a pool and that's kind of the situation that we just saw, which should lead to to a loss for the player who was defending. The other situation is that if the player who is defending guesses that uh you know or thinks that they're going to go for that, they could just step right off. Uh, especially if while they're in this situation, if you took a move to push this to the right and set yourself up to where you have control to then um, step off and pull this block, um, that would be pretty solid and be a, be a more interesting position. But the left side of the stage is very bad if you do not have X. The other thing that blue could just do would be 
not interact with this block at all, and if Orange doesn't go for the drop kick, then climbs up and climbs up, um, which should be you know a win for Blue. Well, maybe not a win, but should be a very strong position for Blue or whoever has X. So um, this situation is very tough, but you know these blocks on the outside actually make this, uh, and and the fact that this fell makes this landing very scary um, you know and if you even just contrast that with what the right side looks like which is very similar um, the right side is much better to be on but actually even the right side is a little bit tricky um, because these blocks are essentially in this shape is in the wrong position if the shape was one over that would be fine uh, maybe not actually because you have this top row that you would have to deal with uh, and because these two moved out it becomes stupid um, but this is this is tough this 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 landing this specific shape and what happened here is so so delicate and so tough I think one possibility would be to push this out uh, and lower this because that's playing for the future, um, but playing for the now is, you know, Orange Orange has to stand on this and threaten it. Um, I feel like Orange really does have to go for this drop kick, um, and that when Orange goes for the drop kick, Blue has to do the pull and will win that. So I think that it has to be Orange stand on top, bait Blue to do a pull to then step to here, um, but I think that following through for the drop kick is actually a misplay. Um, misplay from Orange. Or, you know, if another player was here coming over. And that all has to do with being on the outside and then having this cross shape, right? Having this, maybe I'll call it an empty cross, I don't know. But where, you know, there's nothing in the middle. And then you have this. And the whole point, it kind of all blends together in, in a very pretty way. Because because this block is, is missing, it prevents a, a sidle opportunity to get away. And because this block is on top, even, I mean, even this block on top doesn't really do anything. Even if it was... Um, even if this block wasn't here, that's fine. Just whenever you have uh, the two on the outside, you want the other player on the outside because you have so much control on um, Cathedral or Imperial. I'm sorry. So yeah, it's just a this I think was a very interesting situation to learn from, and that somehow Orange, you know, I, I managed to take this, but looking at this this should really be from this position this should be blues game um in my opinion but i'm okay with how it turned out um i think spiral was how did spiral end up i think i decisively kind of took that one yeah uh torture torture was interesting sig took this one and he played beautifully i think um Cathedral, I thought that there was one round maybe that was, yeah, there was one round where Sig, I think, mixed, missed a, missed an item item opportunity to win. Um, but other than that, it was pretty solid. I think that I still, even with like without the item, I think that um, I played pretty decently on here. So I still think, though, that overall there were a lot of... Um, a lot of inaccuracies that I had. Um, I wasn't as content with how I performed in this tournament. Um, but I was really impressed by uh, everybody else. I was really impressed by Sig's play. Got me a little sh a little scared. But um, yeah, very, very good. There were definitely a lot of moments, like even now that I'm looking at that Sig... Uh, it really had some brilliant moments that really shone through. Uh, especially, I think it was the torture chamber, the push out at the end to force it longer. And then, I think it ends up about here. 
uh, and then this the slide around this this sequence is so pretty because even you know even if orange does this push and it doesn't like I mean this is this is risky right because if orange or yeah if orange doesn't fall for this here and instead just backs up to here orange can go up here and then pull this but that's still not too bad for blue because blue just needs to go down deactivate the spike and then push so um, they, they have the same um, sequence of events oh no I'm sorry there there still needs to be more that orange has to do because even pulling this is not enough because there's not no room on the landing and if orange goes into the middle and follows through he's on an island and has to drop so I think that spider around to do this push is um, pretty brilliant um, I think that you know maybe if instead of moving here orange were to pull this you know and then give himself room then it becomes a little bit tighter on timing because they both have to step and deactivate uh, and then they both have to do orange has to do a pull and blue just has to do a push um, but it's tough to say on the timing if orange would be able to win that but I think that the pull here is much better for orange but I think that the uh, the the recognition that oh I need to push this is um, is a very strong play and even just right before this moment when it was um, uh, when it was probably to, to do this push that push that push is so so strong I gotta play it again because it's so beautiful this to then this to then push beautiful this is beautiful nothing but so that was super good um, yeah I think that squeaked it out by overall overall solid plays and overall probably um, I think what helped me more so was a little bit more game plan there were a couple situations where Sig kinda looked like he got lost or um, walked away from a winning winning position but man that was a that was a it wasn't I guess on on score it didn't seem super close I mean 3-1 but also I think in game it, it was actually Sig could have very easily have taken a couple of those um, they could have gone either way so um, yeah that was a great set so looking forward to more in the future and it does feel good at least to know that um, there is still more that I can do personally in my gameplay to uh, approach things even better so I, I, I have stuff to work on and I'm excited for the future <laughs>